my name's Barry Bray, it's my race car. Um, it's a S12 Silvia, uh, out here in Australia they're called gazelles. Uh, in in um, Japan they were called a Silvia. This, this car, I, the, the car over there, the stands was my first race car that I raced in Victoria for many years and it had a Nissan factory LZ20 engine in turbo for, uh, engine in it and it was a factory engine and then I sold that car as a rolling chassis and I built this car with you know a lot better ideas and I put this factory Nissan engine in this car and um, I ran, ran this car with that engine in you know for many years and then the other my old car was sold through various owners and um, a friend of mine Simon Fitzner um, bought the car it was in a pretty sad state of repair so uh, he wanted to make it a historic car, so we had to go back to and make the car exact specifications at a certain date. And we picked when I, I used to be sponsored by Nissan Spare Parts, and we restored the car absolutely identical, every nut and bolt back to as it was in that time, so it could be a genuine historic sports sedan. To do that, I had to take the engine out of this car <laughs> and put in that car, so it had the right engine and everything in it. Um, so I, I do have another couple of those engines but I specifically didn't want to use them so what I did was sort of made my own engine out of two. It's the same bottom end as that car as the LZ20 Nissan engine but the head's off a late model KAD 24E which is 2.4 litre which means the head's got bigger ports, bigger valves and it breathes better. So um, I, that's, I put that in this car and as I have been running it like this for probably the last four or five years. The only thing that was common was the the bolt pattern of the heads of the KAD24 is identical to the LZ20, but the LZ20 is a gear drive engine, like it doesn't have a timing chain. It has a gear drive up the front of the engine. This one, so I had to make my own timing chain assembly, to, uh, which I made out of um, uh, SR20 timing chain, and you know I, I made various bits and pieces, and it's, been, it's quite successful, and it's a reasonably simple job in the end. Yeah, the gearbox in that in the stands was a Yulin gearbox, um, and this gearbox in this car is a Yulin. This is a later model gearbox. It's a that's a um, FGA. This one's a DGB. It's got bigger gears in it and things like that. It's part of it's a transaxle. So the gearbox and the diff are one unit, and every track you go to, you change the gears for that track. Like, say we run here at Winton, we probably run 132 mile an hour top gear. We go to Phillip Island, we run 160 mile an hour top gear. So we have to change the gears for every track to get the, you know, the maximum speed on the main straight. Well, I used to work for Nissan Motorsport and I used to travel to Japan and, they, they, and their Group 5 car, they, they was a silver, practically identical colour scheme to this. And I really liked the car and it had really good aerodynamics. And luckily I worked at Nissan and was able to get a body, a car at the right price. And then so I started with a car and um, but virtually all that was used out of the car in the end was the, the roof, the ABC pillars and the sills. Everything else is fiberglass. It's got a space frame. The, the engine's an actual stress member. The engine bolts to the front bulkhead. The front suspension bolts to the front of the engine. And it's got a, um, the it doesn't have a chassis, it's got a, a, a torque tube, which is nine inches in diameter made out of mild steel and the gearbox bolts to the other end of the torque tube and the rear suspension bolts to the gearbox so you could actually take the body off the car and drive it around with the engine and the gearbox. But, I mean, you wouldn't do that but you could if you wanted to. So it makes the, the car extremely torsionally stiff, like it really responds to you know, any sort of adjustments to the suspension because it's super stiff torsionally. This was built in, in 1992. Uh, the engine ch changed over was probably about four years ago, five years ago. When we, when we restored that car. You're allowed a certain, you, like the width of the car, you can increase it by about three inches a side. And that's what's been done to this, you know. This is, it's got the original same, you know, front to back wheelbase, but the width of it's obviously increased and, yeah. With both cars, I've run a couple of Victorian sports club championships and state championships. Uh, now, I just do the historics. I only run, say, three or four times a year, whereas, in the good old days, we used to run like maybe 15 times a year. Well, the last session I went out and it's a bit wet, but the car just felt really good, yeah. 
Yeah, I think both cars, I'm sure that car tomorrow, will, because Miles, the guy's driving, it's a really good driver, I'll be very surprised if that's not on pole. Right. Maybe if I was 20 years younger, I might be right behind him, but <laughs> time's marching on. Uh, this one, uh, 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 both of them are really like, that car's really quick on the corners, and th this car actually is you know, really tidy to drive, pretty easy to drive, turns in good, yeah.